welcome to the Global Church Project. I'm Graeme Hill. Michael Frost is an internationally recognised missiologist and one of the leading voices in the missional church movement. His books are required reading in colleges and seminaries around the world, and he's a much sought after international conference speaker. He's a church planter and college professor and the founder of the Forge Mission Training Network with Alan Hirsch. Michael Frost is author and editor of numerous books. Many of these have received wide acclaim. He co-authored the highly successful and award-winning The Shaping of Things to Come. Michael Frost explores a missional framework for the church and discipleship in a postmodern, post-Christendom era. Michael Frost, welcome to Being Missional. You've written that we've de-fleshed the human experience. What do you mean by that? Well, I don't want to get kind of too heavy and philosophical right off the bat, but effectively, philosophers would say that after you know, nearly 300 years of what's called the Enlightenment Project or modernism, uh, which has been about kind of knowledge as the primary framework for, for truth claims and, and perception in the world, uh, we have increasingly, as human beings, learned to live in our heads, as it were. So, I mean, you'll know that the, most people will know that the kind of the, the kind of the mantra, if you like, of the Enlightenment was, "I think, therefore, I am." And so, the sum total of Michael Frost is what he thinks uh, and what he knows, and uh, you know, his sense of consciousness. Um, and so, therefore, those sorts of things that we used to know in our bodies. And those things that we used to hold as truth collectively, our sense of connection to our environment, uh, those things are increasingly lost. So knowledge now almost entirely uh, resides in, in thinking processes, which has meant that we become increasingly defleshed, uh, as I say. So, you know, your dad used to know it was going to rain because his bunions were playing up, or your mum used to know how to cook, not because she, she read a recipe, because she, she'd taste stuff. It was a handful of this and a pinch of that. That was embodied knowledge. That we knew things in our, our fingertips, our taste buds. Uh, uh, that's increasingly rare, uh, it, particularly in the West. So I'm saying this defleshing process means this withdrawal into the processes of thinking. And then when you add the internet to that, it's as if knowledge operates in some disembodied space that I access through thinking. Mm. Now, that, that's not evil or terrible, but that has implications for life. Mm. How do you think that that's affected discipleship and church life today? Yeah, well, I think it's chiefly led discipleship to to be reduced to uh, the appropriation of knowledge and ideas. And, and here, when I when I talk this way, I'm not wanting to say there's anything wrong with knowledge or ideas, uh, but I also want to suggest that uh, there is something really valuable that's lost when. I only live in my head, I only know God in my head, I only worship in my head. I mean, if you look at the way we worship these days, there's a sense in which I close my eyes, I'm disconnected from anybody around me, I'm experiencing Jesus in my imagination. Uh, there may be an affective, emotional response to that. Uh, it's all disconnected, defleshed experience. I mean, I mean, you'll know for hundreds of years, Christians actually used to worship with their bodies. They used to kneel, they used to stand, they used to walk the stations of the cross, they used to go on pilgrimages. So embodied or enfleshed you know, worship was just the order of the day. It's how, how we uh, encountered God. But now, of course, I can do it totally solo and it all happens in my imagination. I'm going to keep saying the same thing over and over. There's nothing wrong with encountering God in your imagination. My only concern is that if that's the only place we encounter him, we lose touch with what it looks like to see God, to know God, to encounter God, to represent God physically, in relationship with others, in place, in the context of the world. And I think something important is lost when, when that happens. Michael Frost, thank you for joining us at Being Missional. No worries. You've just watched an abridged version of this interview. For the full interview, plus resources for churches and colleges and universities, please visit www.theglobalchurchproject.com. I look forward to your company next time. From me, goodbye.